What's up guys, it's Zook here. Today I'm bringing you a Pokemon PSA submission video, not a PSA returns. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I figured it would make a pretty good video to showcase it off beforehand, because I'll have a lot of cards going out to PSA. So I'm starting to do this in 4K, and so we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so we got Sylveon. Two of them, full arts. We got a Zapdos and an Articuno. I bought a few of these, but they really weren't in that great of condition. Flareon. And Pikachu's full arts. I really hope to get some of these in a 10. Got Gardevoir. Two of those. These right here. I think at the end of the month I'll probably buy a few more of these in the Celebes. This right here, I got three of the Sceptiles from Team Magma vs. Aqua because I was looking for the card in a 10 until I finally got it in a trade. So this is going to be an 83 card submission. See if I can get to focus. So I had several of the full arts from each one uh, from Breakpoint. And what I did was I took those cards and I left one of each for a separate submission. Let me know how you guys like the quality of this video as well. We got Espeon. So uh, another submission which I didn't film has a bunch of these as well. And several other of the, the Mythical Collection promos. And I got some more breaks. We got Florges, Marowak, uh, this one is Raichu, I've had two of those in a 10 so far, Gengar, just thought this one was a cool card, a Mewtwo I found in a pile, and then here we have some more breaks from the newest set, Breakpoint, and Golduck, oops, Turning these sideways doesn't work out very well. Greninja, Luxray, Raticate Break. I also sent several copies of those in my other submission as well, which should come back before this one does. Tyranitar Reverse. We've got Pidgeot from Hall on Phantoms. Lots and lots of Hall on Phantoms. Cradilly. Kingdra. I believe I just got this one back in a 10. It should be arriving before this week. Gyarados and Deoxys. But actually, let's see here. I got several Deoxys. The defense one. Uh, this one. Don't know which one this one is. Offense, I think. We got the defensive one. And Flygon. I got plenty of Deoxys Hollows. I got, um, for a while, I think I had about 600 plus EX Series Hollows and Reverse Hollows. And for a while, just it took me a while to get them to grade because the Deoxys and Team Rocket Returns did not have as great a conditioning as other sets. They had a lot of silvering, fraying, and just a s overall warping and edge wear that most of the other cards didn't have. Ludicolo, and I still have more of these. I mean, I still have another three, four hundred EX series hollows, and I should be buying more. I just really like the EX set, and I figure down the road there will be there will always be more Wizards of the Coast hollows to pick up. Wheezing, I'm trying to find a coughing to go along with this one. Here we got Team Rocket, we got Pillow Swine, sweating right there. Lapras. Oregon 2, Heracross, and Jump Bluff. Alright, and the last stack right here is just a big stack of Fire Red Leaf Green. I'm going to go through these last ones relatively quicker since you've seen most of these before. Weedle, I got Metapod, Venomoth. I'm starting to finally grade some of my. Fire Red Life Green commons and reverse commons outside of, you know, Bulbasaur and Squirtle and Charmander, which, you know, are obviously popular, but I figured I'd be happier if I got those. I've been trying to grade these really late because if I grade the other cards, which I have more duplicates of and can sell for more, I can afford to pay for the grading costs. So, I mean, you take a, you take a thousand cards and multiply it by about, the cost would probably be about six dollars per card. 
But when you add shipping, insurance, and all that sort of stuff, it comes out to about 8 to $10 a card, depending on how cheap you get it, and if you're always getting monthly specials. So, I mean, you're looking at $8,000 just to grade all of those cards. So I'm always grading the more popular hollows early on and saving these sort of commons that I intend to keep for the end and slow and slowly mix them in as well rather than doing one big submission with all of them uh, let's see that one does not really reflect well alright got onyx mid arena mid around male mid around female Jigglypuff, Do Duo, Growlithe. This one's an awesome card. This is a this is a duplicate. I already have it. these in a ten. Don't really need those. And Multi Energy, Shelter, Krabby, Slowbro. I think I already have this one. Kakuna, Ponyta. And seal. All right, so I'm filming this in 4K, so I try to be a little bit faster because I don't know how much battery I have left. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I will have plenty more PSA submissions and returns coming back and going out within the next month. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys like the video, give that a thumbs up. Let me know which one was your favorite card or which one you are hoping comes back as a 10. And always subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.